few weeks ago I got in some hot water here because I didn't talk about Brianna Jai, a 16-year-old trans girl who was murdered in the UK. And it was an absolute tragedy, but I didn't talk about it because I had a lot of feelings about something and I wanted to do some research before I spoke. I don't think almost any of you know the name Ariana Mitchell. She was a 17-year-old black trans girl from Virginia. She loved to dance. She was in a dance team and she went to a party that a bunch of her friends were having and she broke up a fight and a person who was who saw her was very mad and said what are you and she said what she was and she was killed right there in front of a bunch of people you didn't hear that story did you i'm also willing to bet you don't know the names brazil johnson regina maya allen or cache henderson all of which were black trans women in milwaukee wisconsin who were killed in the last nine months that's 70 miles from where I am right now. Now, I don't think you know their names because I'm trying to be superior. I don't think you know their names because I didn't know their names up until an hour ago. And they're 70 miles away in my home state. I can't help but feel like every day I'm failing. Every day we're all failing each other. 350 anti-train laws in the last three months. I'm sorry, I just, I needed a moment. It's hard to talk about this stuff because it always disproportionately affects black trans girls. Always. Anti-trans laws will always affect them the most. Attacks on our community will always affect them the most. They will always be the most vulnerable people in our society. And the fact that we don't know their names when they are murdered for just existing is a goddamn problem. I don't know the solution here. And I know you don't know either, but I do know that me and Alluring Skulls are gonna to try to raise $1 million for trans healthcare by trans people for trans people on a 30 hour live stream here on TikTok on March 30th and 31st. That money will help 11,000 trans people access gender affirming care who would not be able to otherwise. And Point of Pride, the organization that we're going through, specifically helps trans people of color access that care. I've said all that to say this, Every single day there is hate and anti-trans crap all over the media. For once, for once, I want there to be joy everywhere. I want them to see that we raised $1 million to help each other. Please tag large TikTokers down below, tag newspapers, make sure they cover this, and let's do this together. You can put that link in your bio right now to raise money. Thank you for listening. I'm so tired.